Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV Balloon Basics. This time we are joined once again by Chris Horn from Amscan. Chris, thank you for coming. And it does feel a bit odd for me because I'm this side of the table instead of that side of the table, but you will see why in a second. Anyway, this time Chris is going to show us something spectacular in that he is going to show us how to cut ribbon. Now, sounds simple, doesn't it, Chris? Small things. Uh, I'm going to have a go, so it better be very, very simple. So anyway, over to you. Okay, so uh, we need a lot of ribbon. I like to pre-cut my ribbon yep. um, in advance, two meters long, whatever. And you can spend ages snip, snip. snip. Yeah. So um, you know, my philosophy has always been to try and find the quickest and easiest way to do everything. Absolutely. And this works for me. So okay. you need a roll of ribbon that is pristine, no. Uh, cracks or broken bits because otherwise it's not going to work and then it's very simple you stand with your feet shoulder width apart yeah you put the ribbon on the floor between your toe halfway between your toes like that so they're not touching no no you're okay. not using your feet to hold it down or anything like that it's halfway between your toes and just sits there now the key thing is to keep your hands above the reel of ribbon so you're not off to the sides okay all right. you're above the rail so Hold the end of the ribbon with your fingers and with your thumb sticking out. Does it matter which hand? No, doesn't okay. matter. So it's like that. So no, no. Doesn't no. matter which way either. Hold on, hold on. Just hang just, on to it. So just Turn it, you might find it easier that way. Okay. Okay. Thumb sticking out. Other hand, thumb sticking out. Yeah. Hook it round the ribbon, and then hook that thumb round the ribbon, and then and just keep altering your hands. If you hold your hands about a meter apart, which you're doing. Oh, this you is just catch it so each time round. It's not as easy as it looks, I have to be honest. I was going to say, it's so easy, but it's It really is easy, and then, of course, as you get better at it, you just get faster and faster it's and faster. Oh, I've lost it, Chris. Yeah, you have. The ribbon's, the ribbon's fallen over. It's now, all right, I'm continuing. If, oh, it's, it's gone upright again. It's all right. <laughs> oh, it's fallen over. Chris, can we stop? You can stop. Okay, thanks. Okay. My ribbon's still standing up, but then I've been doing this for a long, You've long time. You've been doing time. it a bit longer than me, okay. Once you've done it, the ribbon that you start, the hand that you started okay. with... Yeah. You can release the other hand and okay. you just use your scissors to cut there and that will give you then a whole bunch of ribbons two meters long all nicely cut how, how do you cut it so that the one that's attached to the spool there ribbon? will always be a loop okay um so when you cut it you always have one that's looped and you just find that when you run your fingers through and just right, okay. it. but there you go Chris, now, if that. you do have the issue with it running about like that, yeah. use a, a small box or a bucket or something and just drop the ribbon reel in and it won't run on all of it. Oh, there you go. Wow. So there you go. Two metre ribbons. Yeah. What, what if you don't need two metres? It doesn't matter really. You just Hold your hands close together. But okay. two metres is... And it just means you can snip you? a bit off as well. Yeah. Because you've got to rely for curls and things like that. Exactly. You? Well, Chris, that's a trick I've never seen before. Thank you very much. Time saving. And You're time welcome. is money. Anyway, go enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs>